Hey guys. All right, so I'm Sarah. This is the Redbird Vintage Closet Cleanout video. Most of the items are actually gonna be $5 and then some will go up to 25. And I thought, I don't know why I thought I was gonna be able to show everything in one video. Uh, this is gonna be over the course of like, I don't know, probably four videos. And, um, and also if you are based in like Orlando, the Florida area, and you're looking to buy in bulk, I have, um, I mean, I think I've posted a couple pictures of, of the, it's like three whole racks of clothing that I'm, I'm looking to kind of just get rid of. And, um, and it is some sewing supplies and accessories and things like that. This whole rack of tops, which are going to be um, probably most of the clothes that I show this video, they're all $5. Um, I've got a couple hats, I've got some jewelry, I've got some sewing stuff. Um, I do have some more that I'll be showing in the end that's not $5. Um, it is $10 shipping. It's a, just a flat fee no matter how much you buy. So like if you buy like a pair of earrings for $5, it's still $10 for shipping. So obviously if you buy more then the shipping is better, but it just makes life easier. And, um, and honestly, $10 probably covers like packing materials and stuff. So I always hate, I always hate charging for shipping, but it has to be done. Um, it is a first come first serve situation. So this is being posted on Saturday at 10 AM Eastern time. Um, I'm going to be replying to emails and sending invoices for a couple hours. And then, um, I will probably, you know, go on with my day for a little while and then I'll send more in the evening and i hope that you guys find some stuff that you like and i hope even more that somebody's watching who's like hey i just want to buy all your stuff so send me how much you want for all your stuff and um but again i there's so much there, there there's just there's just too much as i've been organizing it and like okay well i'm gonna get rid of this too and this too and this too it's just it's too much to show in one video i want to try to keep it under um I wanted to say 20 minutes and we're already at two minutes and nine seconds because I'm chatty. So let me go ahead and I'm going to show you guys, um, the few hats that I have for $5. And again, it is $10 shipping in the U S if you are watching internationally, just email for a shipping quote, depending on where you are and how much stuff you order, it's going to be between 1550 and 3450 normally. But if you order like a ton of stuff, then that price could go up. So this is real fur around this has got a little bow on it the fur is like you can see so the hat is a little bit damaged um but um it is you know really pretty when you pin it on so that is five dollars there is damage like there's damage up here so it's you know it's but it's worth fixing for if you're if you're a fur a, you know you like fur Okay, this one is a Shea Original, Shea Original, if you're, you know, French. And then this was one, so you will definitely need pins for it. This was one that was up for request last month and nobody, um, nobody fit. Um, so, yeah, probably like that, I think. It is navy. Okay, this teeny tiny little one, and I am. So it does have. So at the top of it, you can see it's got like little holes in the in the mesh, and in this part, it does not have any any tears. So that's cute. Five dollars shipped. Um, there are like some little sequins around it, if you can see. And um, yeah, uh, this one is like stretchy material and sequins. I mean, that, look, that looks bad. Hold on. <laughs> okay. There we go. All right. $5 shipped. It is stretchy. This one as well. This is Paris, New York, Modiste. I know I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but it's color. And again, this was up for request last month too, but there were no, no bites. It needs to be kind of like reshaped. 
And you know, I... I know that that's the back, but I do think it looks almost cuter that way. So, in whenever the next video is posted, I'm sure there will be more $5 hats, but um, those are just the ones that I was able to snag. This is a little gold clutch, $5. This does go inside the little gold handbag, and they can be made into a clutch. There is metalware on the... Um, come on metalware and it's an HL HL USA so that's cute we got a bunch of earrings so I'm just going to show these pretty fast these again are five dollars it is ten dollars shipping so these are post post bag and um and so what I'll also do is um we can do like a mystery pair of earrings if you want to do that this one is a little bit darker these are the same but this stone is a little bit more dead it's not quite as dead as it looks in the photo in the thing, but um, so we could do like a mystery pair of earrings for five dollars if you are wanting more. Like if you only see one pair of earrings, but you're like, I don't want to pay ten dollars for shipping for one pair of earrings, add on another pair of earrings. And let me know what you love and I can surprise you with something. Oh, so many earrings. Yeah, it's not gonna be 20 minutes if we're already at seven. I mean maybe I can maybe I can get it down to 30. I just feel like, you know, it's a lot, it's a lot to sit and watch. And um, and again, when you and I should have said this at the beginning, I will probably like splice something together for the beginning because I don't think I even told you guys um, what to do to to purchase it that you know you'll need to email info at redbirdvintagebox.com and um, screenshot with your PayPal address even if you've shopped with us numerous times put your PayPal address and put your shipping address um, sometimes our system if we've shipped to multiple addresses um, or if your shipping address is different in like your subscription than what your PayPal shipping address is, it will, it, it's like it, it messes up <laughs> and then it gets into the wrong place. So always put, you know, your full name and your shipping address and your PayPal email and I will send you an invoice and, um, and it is just a first come first serve basis. So obviously people who are watching this first kind of get, you know, an advantage. Such is life. Um, I will be posting things on Instagram stories and Instagram this next week for sale because some items, these are post back, some items are, they're just, um, it's going to be better to take pictures of them so that you can kind of see more of the detail. And so, I think these just say West Germany. They're really pretty. Some of these cluster earrings that I'm going to show are really very nice. But I just have so many. And, um, you know, I'm just looking to get rid of them. And with the clothing, you know, the new space is, um, it's coming along great but I just feel like we've had some items for a really long time. And you're gonna be able to tell um, like what what bust size, what waist size, I, I don't have subscribers for. Um, Cause like, I think I wanna say like a lot of those shirts over there are 36 and 38 busts. And, um, and it's because so many of the 
people who are getting the Lorene boxes or are subscribers to it are a 32, 34, and then it goes up to like 40, 42. Um, and um, I can't remember what I've shown. Um, so, you know, that's, you know, the sizes are kind of all over the place. Like we, I'm going to be showing you girl sizes of everything, but you'll see like the bulk is a certain size. And that's just because, you know, that's what I need to get rid of. That's, that's the size that I cannot find people for. And I do, I know you girls were talking about when I had mentioned getting like a Poshmark or something like that. I had a bunch of you email and you were like, yeah, you know, let me know if you start doing Poshmark. And, um, and I do, I just, I hate, I hate taking pictures of stuff, which I've mentioned before. It is just, it is so time consuming. And, um, and it's one of the things that I really like about doing the subscription boxes that, you know, I mean, I post the stuff for request and, um, and that's, you know, that takes time, but it's not like a crazy amount of time. And then I get to just like, you know, make a surprise and, you know, find things that, you know, I know you girls are going to love. And that's, that's fun for me. Taking photos of the clothing is not fun. Just because I just don't really have a great setup to take photos. Like there are actually a couple walls in the house that I could really make into it, but I've just done other things with them and it, it just, it's not gonna, I don't want to, I don't want to move it. Okay. So those are the earrings. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and start showing you the blouses. And I did go ahead and kind of label some of them. So like we only have one blouse. It's a 32. So this is a 32 bus. And again, these are also, these are $5, $10 shipping. And again, it is a flat $10 for shipping. Let's see if I can Ooh, get it a little closer. Okay. And you know what? When I don't remember that pencil on here. Okay. So these next boxes are going to be 34. So 34 best. And I know I'm blown out over here, like me, but that doesn't matter because you're looking at the blouse and I feel like the lighting, the natural lighting is is good for this. Um, there is really nothing wrong with these. It is simply that I have a lot. Like this, this blouse is like, I mean, it's so, it's so pretty. 34 best. Five dollars. So, um, if there is anything wrong with them, like a stain or whatnot, I will let you know. But for the most part, I just, I, I only want, I think I'm down to like three big racks of clothing. And I'm, I'm not saying that I'm like right now, I, because I, I opened up subscriptions for the Lorene, even though I had said, you know, that I didn't want to, but we just had, um, I, I had, I had old Loreen subscribers kind of just wanting a box every month still. And so suddenly like, okay, well, we'll just open it up for subscriptions. And also this is so fun, right? I love this. Um, and so I did. And because I just, I had so much clothing and, um, and now this month I've had to email three of them and say, Hey, I, you know, I don't have clothing for you this month. Um, because I have, I just haven't been shopping as much, you know, I made the big purchase from the, and again, these are all still 34 best. Um, you know, I made the big purchase from the storage unit and there was some clothing in there. Um, and that was fantastic. Um, but other than that, it's just been busy. Um, my daughter was in theater camp and I don't think I mentioned this. They, they did the music man in this three week theater camp and Juliet and I practiced her audition for a really long time. And, and the verbal part of her audition, she had down, like she had a cute little accent and I taught her how to pronounce the, um, there were, there were just some words that were kind of difficult for an eight year old. So we really went over those. And so I was confident that she was going to nail her, um, her verbal audition. Um, but every time we would try to sing the song that she wanted the lead, I was one of the lead of Marion. And um, so now we're on 36, 36 inch bust. Okay. So these are 36 inch bust. Also, this is obviously the same top 
as this one. It was dead stock. So if you're if you're wanting this, then make sure when you send your screenshot, say if you want the 36 or the 34 best, 36 best. And um, so I was trying to, uh, I was letting her know. I was like, you know, there are, first of all, there were older kids in the camp. I think the camp went up to fifth grade or sixth grade. She's, she's going into third grade. And um, I was like, you know, the third graders who, she she just she she couldn't sing she couldn't sing very well and I hate saying that because I feel like you know this is out here but but she knows like she actually had a meltdown because I she kept on she's very confident she does not lack confidence and when we were going over the singing and I was like okay so you sound like your volume's great like let's work on on pitch and tone she's like no I don't need to I don't need to I'm I'm good I don't need to and I was like no okay well then let's record you so I recorded her and then I played it back for her she had like a, a meltdown. And she ran into our front room and like put herself in the corner and was just crying. And I had to come and I was like, what's wrong? And she's like, I sound terrible. I sound terrible. I'm never going to get the part. And I was like, that's why we just need to work on it because she, she has it. She, she has it in her. And I knew this. And so we worked on it a little bit more, but I was, you know, preparing her. You're not going to get the lead. So, but sure enough, after audition, she comes into the car and she's beaming. She's like, I got it. I got the role of Marion. So if you've seen the music man, Marion is like the love interest and she has a really high song, like a, like a soprano one type situation. And, um, and I don't know, it's a long story, but I, you know, I was screaming and, you know, crying. I was so excited for her and she worked so hard and she did a, an amazing job and we're so proud of her. And if I wasn't concerned about like, you know, posting children on, social media, I would post this little dance that her and the guy who played the male lead um, did together. It was it's just so cute. It's so adorable. But I've been very, very busy just with that kind of stuff in personal life and just seeing family. And, you know, we went to Indiana for a little bit for um, my husband's grandfather's 90th birthday. It's just been, it's just been really busy. And this next, the next couple um, well, the next month basically is busy as well that, you know, school will be starting in a couple weeks, but you know, we're going on vacations and just trying to spend time together as a family. I don't know. I'm just, I've really been feeling like the kids growth, you know what I mean? That they just, they're just, they're getting so much older and feeling like I'm missing it and and so what will fall by the wayside is going out and, and shopping is the, you know, the, the short version of, or I guess the point, the point of it all. And, um, but once school starts, you know, they're going to be busy and, um, and I will have, um, even more time to, to shop and do things. And I will have a trip. And so again, like some of these that I'm showing, they are modern, which is another reason why I'm selling again, it's $5, $5 with a $10 shipping fee. And these are still 36 inch busts. Okay. Um, yeah, but it was fun. It was a good, it was, it was my whole family came in. Karen came in with her husband, my other sister, my brother came in, which is, which is crazy. Um, cause he is, he's just, he's just really busy. He lives in Tampa as well, but he, he owns his own like luxury electronics installation company. I don't know. I get kind of confused as to what he does, but he's very busy because he started it a few years ago and, um, and you know, if you own your own business, you know, it can take up a lot of time. And I'm lucky that, you know, my husband really loves his job. And so this is, this can be fun for me on the side. Okay. We are at 38 busts now. 38, 38 busts. Five dollars. My parents stayed the night here at the new Redbird house. If you're, if you're new to us, um, I, 
So the business, you know, has been around like what, like six years now? Something like that. Are we going on seven years? I never, I never know. Um, I can never remember. But um, after a few years of it being in my house, like in the upstairs, and it was like growing out of the bedroom and it went into the loft and then it was like two bedrooms. We were like, okay, well, you know, it's making enough money now that, you know, we need a space. And, um, and so we bought a home in downtown Winter Garden, which is a super cute area. And, um, and it worked out really great because when Karen moved down here, she lived like five minutes from there. And, um, but then we moved to Mount Dora, which was like half an hour drive away. And then just with COVID and everything, um, Karen, you know, like she, she, she needed to get a, um, a full-time situation. And, um, and so when, when that became a reality, keeping it there in Winter Garden was just not financially great. So I contacted the people who own the homes around us and this home was being used as an office and they were looking to sell. And so they sold it to us for an astronomical price and it needed new electric and new plumbing and it's infested with termites and we have to get it tented in, um, in a week. And so, you know, but we redid the electric and we redid the plumbing and and everything is moved in it's just not super set like this room right here is the only room that's like set up enough that i even like to to do the videos in here um but i do love it and it is literally like right next door these so these and again these are 38 bus but this is more of like a junior's 38 so if you're not super petite or like a teenager it might cut you in the arms more so just know that so it is a 38 bust still again we're all these are all five dollars um but um anyways i do love it it's really convenient the kids will just like walk over like they're home right now and um it's really it's really nice and so my parents when they came in for juliet's show they ended up staying here that night and so there are things in the house now it's still really old it was like 1935 but i feel like it which was the same age as the older the other house and, um, but you know, they just, they were using it as an office and it's just, it really was not taken care of at all. And, um, so even though the shower works, like it's kind of, I don't know, like wonky. Like when you turn on the, um, the faucet, it, you know, it, just, it like leaks out of the faucet, which makes me very nervous because in our main home that was happening and we were trying to fix it and the whole the whole faucet popped off like the whole handle popped off and it was like a geyser coming towards us and our main water turn off is like at the very end of our property so i had to like try to run out there but you need like pliers and um we were lucky that we didn't flood the entire house but anyways that was happening here so I remember to tell my parents about that, but what I didn't remember to tell them is that we put up one of those egg chairs on the patio like that was hanging and we put it up because it already had an existing thing to hang it on. And as soon as we sat in it, we realized, okay, this isn't, this isn't sturdy. We need to not be sitting here, but we left it up because it looked cute and we're the only ones that are over here. So we just didn't think anything of it. And my poor father sat in it and the whole thing like ripped out half of the, um, um, the ceiling on the front porch. And luckily it was, it was only, so we found out that it was only held in by like really, really tiny nails, like itty bitty nails. And so since it was held in like that, it, um, it all came down together. So he and my husband were able to put up everything, but I felt so bad for him and he felt so bad. And it happened at like nine o'clock at night. And the only reason we knew is because our security system outside kept on going off. And so we pulled up the cameras and we saw my dad like walking back and forth and like looking up at the, at the ceiling out there and looking really worried. And I say to my husband, I'm like, oh my gosh, like he definitely, he definitely sat in the egg chair and it broke. And so we had to come over and tell him it's perfectly fine and it's our fault. And I'm grateful that he didn't get hurt because it really could have been bad. This does taper a little bit down here. It's so pretty. Five dollars, five dollars. Let's move this stuff out, get it to some homes 
of people who love them. Um, I am donating a bunch of the hats that I'm not using to our local theater today, um, but there are still a lot more. And what I think I'm gonna do with, when I said, I think I already said that I'm gonna be selling some stuff on through Instagram stories and, um, and on Instagram and some of those things, I'm just, I think I'm gonna do lots, um, like jewelry lots and hat lots and things like that. And um, so, you know, keep an eye out for that. And, you know, if there is something that you're interested in, I am, I am pretty caught up with everything. And, um, and I do, I put Juliet in a little art class for next week for the morning right here downtown. So I'll probably be working a few hours every single morning next week and can send some pictures if you're looking for something specific. Um, hat wise or even jewelry rides you know I have so many like Aurora Borealis um, clear necklaces um, I have a lot of those earrings like if that's something that you love let me know because um, I can do a great price on one of those lots so anyways I feel like sometimes you know I just start talking and don't really remember where I was going with the conversation. I don't know, it's just chit chat, just chit chatting. Oh, I wonder if I can get this in under half an hour. Possibly, possibly, I don't know. I'll try to go a little bit faster. But I want you to be able to like see everything. You know what I mean? Obviously, since you're paying money, this is super lightweight. So now we are in 40 inch bust, 40 inch bust. white blouse and so again you know, these are a little more difficult to see so just make sure that you oh I forgot I have to do a request video too that might come I mean I don't know I'm gonna need to go shopping a little bit before I do the request video We'll see, maybe I'll, I'm sure I can find some time next week. I'm excited because we're taking the kids to St. Augustine. My husband and I just got back from there and, um, and I found a hotel that's like right on the beach and, and I hope, I'm hoping that it's gonna be good. We actually, I, I booked it on Travelocity like a month and a half ago and like two weeks after I booked it, we had started saying that maybe we wanted to go to Volcano Bay instead, which is a water park here in Florida. Um, these next two, they looked a lot alike. This one's got a little pearl button. So again, and these are all 40 inch, that's $5. And so I contacted Travelocity and they were like, you know, well, no, because you, you know, it was a, um, like a prepaid rate that I got and it said no cancellation. And now I had gotten, I always get, I've gotten travel insurance for our last couple of trips. Um, just because I, you know, we, we, it was, what was it, like two years ago, a year ago that we got COVID right before we were going to the mountains and it was with my, my in-laws. And um, so we actually didn't lose any money because they all just kind of like picked up our cost since we didn't go, which was really sweet of them. But, um, but ever since then, I go ahead and just get travel insurance because I'm like, things are just weird right now. And even if, um, like we, I, I don't, I don't like doing the testing. So if we're not feeling well, then we just stay home <laughs> because, um, I, um, I, I just don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to stick the things up the kids' noses. And I just, I, from the very beginning, I kind of always felt like, if you're not feeling well, if you're feeling off, just, you don't, you stay home. Um, so I get a travel insurance because if we're not feeling well, we, we don't go, which it hasn't happened again. It's weird. Like we haven't even been sick since, since then, but I don't know. We're pretty healthy in general. But, um, so anyways, I'm telling travel last me, I'm like, well, I got the travel insurance and they're like, they're basically like, yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't count for this unless you are sick 
you know, that if you're sick, you can cancel, but um, you can't cancel just because you change your mind. And there is definitely like 10% of me that's kind of like, yeah, that makes sense. Um, I was canceling a month and like four days before my trip. And do I feel like I book enough trips that maybe they could cut me some slack? Yes, 100%, definitely. And, but what they said basically is that now you need to contact Embassy Suites. It's like, okay. So it, I contact Embassy Suites and I had to go back and forth for, I kid you not, it was like a whole week, every single day for like an hour with people telling me, oh, well, you need to talk to this person now, you need to talk to this person now. Basically telling me that yes, we can cancel it, but you're gonna talk to these people. And my emails were getting to be like, okay, so I've been trying to cancel this for almost two weeks now. Like I need it on the record that I tried to cancel it a month, you know, almost a month and a week before um, we were going. And then finally someone gets back to me and they're like, yeah, we can't cancel this. You have to contact Travelocity to cancel this because you booked it through Travelocity. And I was like, you guys have been talking to like everybody in your, in your place for a really long time now. And I just gave up. And I was like, forget it. We're just gonna, we're just gonna go. And if we want to do Volcano Bay, we'll do it after the tourist season is over. Um, that's what I was talking about when I say I start chatting and I just kind of forget what my point was. Just that, you know, we're taking them and we're excited now because, you know, it'll still be fun. It'll be, it'll be a good time no matter what. I'm sure. But I honestly wouldn't put it past them for us to show up and for them to be like, mm, this was canceled. This was canceled a month ago. I hope not. I did already call to confirm that they had not canceled it. And they were like, yeah, we have no, we have nothing in your file that says that you even tried. So whatever, it's fine. I don't think I will ever book on Travelocity with the non-refundable room rate again though, just in case. And also the travel insurance, like stop. Why did I pay what was ended up being like $60 for travel insurance? and it only matters if I get sick. And, and you can't use like, so it's not like I could contact them, you know, a month and a week in advance and say, oh, I'm not feeling well and I have to cancel. I could be like, no, okay, you have a month to get, to get better. So like, what's better? Me canceling two days before and then using my travel insurance and saying, oh, I'm sick, which I'm just not gonna do. Like, I get it. It's like a big business hotel, but still it's tacky. Like by canceling a month, over a month in advance, they can, they can like rebook the room. So it doesn't even make sense financially why um, why the travel insurance would be that way. It's bizarre. And again, we are still on 40 inch busts. $5 blouses. And so these are all white ones that have like little trim around them. They're really cute. But yeah, I just have them, I've had these forever and I just, it's just time. And I just, I just feel like I wanna, I kind of feel like, and especially with the price point of the new Lorene, um, you know, I wanna, I, I wanna keep it at the two clothing items. And I feel like I've just been putting a lot of filler in there lately. And I feel like that's, I would rather just keep it at like two really like high end quality items. But okay. We're up to a 42 inch bust, 42 inch bust. But I hope that y'all's summers went well. Hope that you guys got to travel a little bit, see some stuff, hang out with family. But if you have kids and they were home for the summer, the kids didn't drive you too crazy. Harrison had his first sleepover last week. And that was fun, you know. I don't, you know, there's such a stigma with sleepovers, and it's so awkward. Like, I had to, um, I, I'm, I'm still not comfortable with Juliet going to a sleepover, mainly because Juliet just, she, she's just an irresponsible human being at eight years old. She just, she makes really bad decisions, um, and, um, and she's like the instigator. Like, she's the one that comes up with like the bad idea plan, and, and then convinces everybody to go along with it. So I'm just not not comfortable with it. She needs to grow up a little bit. Um, but it was awkward because the mother had asked, you know, oh, you know, I would love for Julia to come over and blah, blah. And there's, 
I mean, I, I can say what I just said to you, but I feel like, I feel like no matter what it comes across as I don't trust you and I don't trust your parenting. And so, okay, so we're at, so these are going to be 44 to 48 inch bust, which, you know, so um, if you're unsure, go ahead and give me your best size and I can remeasure for you. I should have measured all of these, but I actually forgot and I want to just kind of get through it. This one's going to be more like a 46. Um, and, and, and yeah, I just feel like that there's no way that it doesn't come across as, no, I don't trust you. And, and I hate that because, because it's not true. It's just, I don't know. Anyways, but I love Harrison's little friend who was so sweet and Harrison had so much fun. This is like a really lightweight poly blend. So that was something new that he got to do for the summer. Other than that, he's been kind of a slug. I'm hoping that he finds something in school that he's interested in. I think he's doing like newspaper and I think he's doing theater. This one's really fun. Um, this one's gonna be like a 46 to a 48, but that you can see the sleeves are really pretty. Um, yeah, I hope that he finds something that he loves to do meet the teachers in a few weeks. I hope that he likes the teacher. Raising kids is stressful. You never know if you're doing it right. Okay, so this is the last $5 blouse. What am I at, 36? Okay, so I'm gonna... Okay, so one of the things, and I'll post this on Instagram too, is you know we have a ton of buttons. So 10 cards of buttons for five dollars and again it is still the ten dollars for shipping so obviously the more you get the more it's going to be worth it it is flat rate ten dollars to no matter how much you order and like these are just you know some of the different kinds of buttons and if you see any here that you you know absolutely you know must have it is going to be a random assortment but i will we have multiples of you know, I mean, honestly, it's like, it's like, I have like a thousand things of, of buttons, a lot of buttons. Um, and then, um, so we're going to go to, um, you know, this, I don't believe that this is Bakelite or Lucite. It is, it, it doesn't, I'm really terrible at knowing, but, um, super cute. Red bangle, that is $5 as well and put that in the five dollar thing um yikes okay so let's go to um ten dollar items oh my gosh don't fall so i have bakelite screw back earrings and i know that they are because it's you can just tell um so those are ten this adorable cuff bracelet and so much of this I was going to, and so made, is this a made in Mexico stamp? Oh, I don't know, I don't wanna take up too much time. It's super cute, it's a cuff. So that is $10, and this copper cuff. This seashell confetti. Bracelet. See, I was going to just put these on Instagram, but I feel bad because you can see it's like the moon glow beads. Uh, but I feel bad because I showed pictures already. And so ten, ten dollars, Cuisine. So some little flower power brooches. Again, these are 10 little like carved bracelet. 
brooch. This is a bracelet. This one is modern. Older. There is where you can see it's a C class on the back. $10. This carved seahorse charm for $10. one as well is older so I just feel like it's fine with the paste stones I just I get really nervous if they fall just because they pop out so easily um but yeah so ten dollars let's go to fifteen dollars with jewelry. So these earrings, but it's a set, so hold on. So these earrings, and then this necklace, and that is $15, you know, for the set. 15, and then this other set, and this one is, is this, what do you know? This is Sarah Coventry. So 15 for the necklace. with the earrings. So for the set, and they're, clip back, for the set, 15. And then, this one is not signed. This, with these earrings. And again, it is 15 for the set. And, I have two of these. The elastic is kind of busted. $15. Great deal. A little bit of a darker one. $15. Um, I think a lot of people take these apart and make different things with them, but it's $15 for each one of these. So this is $15. This is $15. Um, God. Okay. A little antique double heart it has not been um, like nothing's been carved into it yet etched etched into it little boy under the umbrella and um, and again if you've been with me for a while you know I'm really bad at dating things and um, so 15 so you know but they're old. There is wear to this, but it is still absolutely beautiful. It is a C clasp. I love this one. Um, oh, this one was missing a stone, but I do have it, but I'm not going to fix it. So if you want this, bam, and then the stone is right here, you will have to fix it. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, but again, the paste stones, they drive me absolutely bananas. Um, okay, again, a little C clasp in the back. And all of these that I'm showing now at the 15 um, came in the, um, the Victor antique Victorian jewelry lot that says Ben-Hur on it, 15. And these are still $10 shipped. We're going to go ahead and still do 15 for antique paste stone, hot pink. The coloring is beautiful. It's a great deal if you, you know. Shoe clips for $5. Shoe clips, $5. More shoe clips. For five dollars ten dollars for the jewelry dog look at that how your medication in there it's adorable okay that's ten. this is five dollars it has some wax in it still um made in germany is what it says on the back it's really pretty five bucks 
I don't see any chips in it, but it's possible. That's what it looks like. And then we'll just do five bucks for the teeny tiny little sweet camel. Here, $10 purses. This is velvet. You can see $10. Silver, little clutch. And it is missing like one tiny stone right at the top. Um, that's the inside. It's super clean. It has a tiny little change purse. $10. And again, it is still the $10 flat rate shipping. Adorable little snake skin. Wicker. I think this might have a, yeah, so this has a chain. Does it say Roto inside? So it does have a chain. Little rainbow wicker clutch. Great for the end of the summer. Okay. So obviously I'm not taking measurements of these. Um, you're gonna have to just trust me that it's worth $5. These are $5, it is the $10 shipping. So this is lace. I will more than likely be putting some trims on, um, um, you know, any that I don't feel like have enough for five bucks, I'm just gonna toss, so. Um, there might be some discoloring on some of them. Like, I feel like you can kind of see the top there. It's a little bit discolored. I cannot guarantee that that will come out, but I do think that a soak would do it. This is all dead stock stuff that was gotten from the, um, the vintage shop months and months ago. And I'm just, I'm hoarding so much stuff. And again, these are $5, $5 for each one um ten dollars shipping and i'm just i'm hoarding so much stuff but i just i don't know do you girls ever you just you kind of feel like you want to do you want to do something creative you just haven't figured out what yet and and that's how i'm feeling right now with all of this and i just am feeling i feel panicky when i take some out some stuff out to sell because i'm like oh my gosh you know because i feel it in my soul that like supposed to create something was supposed to create something with this and but it's been like a year now I think it's been a long time and I've made like some dog bandanas and I've made Juliet a few things but um certainly nothing to warrant the amount of stuff that I have hoarded it's just like sitting out here let me see what else I have Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and just stop it for now. Um, I apologize that everything that was shown on Instagram has not been shown in this video. It um, it's just for timing, and I will do the next video. I will get it filmed this week, and I will get it posted. I will I will let you know midweek when um, when I will post it. But also be looking at our Instagram stories and our Instagram feed. I will be posting jewelry lots hat lots, lingerie lots, um, probably some shirt lots, um, and, um, and more just in an attempt to kind of move out as much stuff as possible in the next couple weeks. So again, it is first come first serve email info at redbirdvintagebox.com, um, with screenshots of everything that you want. And I will, and your PayPal address and your shipping address. If you do not have PayPal, go ahead and say, I don't have PayPal and I can make you a listing on our website um and yeah i mean i hope that you girls found something that you wanted and again if you're looking to like literally just be like okay well i want you know 10 blouses in you know a 36 inch bust um you know or whatever go ahead and reach out and let me know um okay great if you have any questions go ahead and just email and i hope you found something that you like thanks